Hey guys, welcome back to Gilligan Phantom. Today I'm going to show you how we took a stock tank and turned it into a saltwater swimming pool for our outdoor living room. Come check it out. Hey, hey. Mommies, what do you think? That's good. good. And you caught a fish too. Yeah, this is well. Hi guys, so right here we have everything we need to do this project, starting with a eight foot long three foot wide, two foot high stock tank. And then we've got our inlet and outlet fittings. These are going to go through the tank and I'm gonna be drilling a hole in the tank to accommodate them with a the drill and a hole saw. From there, the water flows into an inch and a quarter tube and then through a pump, which has a filter inside that you're gonna to have to replace every once in a while. There's your filter. From there, it goes into this saltwater chlorinator now this thing receives inch and a half tube, so we've got an inch and a half to an inch and a quarter reducer, and that comes with this, which is great. From there we've got inch and a half tubing, which actually goes back to the pump right here. And that is going to complete our basically water filtration system. This guy is about $150, this one was like $45. You don't have to do this, you could do the chlorine technique, which is cheaper. You're just going to buy chlorine tablets and a float. I'll link to that below as well. Totally fine solution, it's just that you ought to do some more chemical management. And hopefully this is going to just kind of do the job for us. From there, we have two possible sealants. I mean, these things come with rubber gaskets, but I don't know if that's gonna do the job. So I've got some butyl tape, which I had lying around. This is great for waterproofing holes or waterproofing anything. And then as a backup, I have some silicone, which I might use around the inside of the pool where these inlets and outlets go. This is actually a fairly expensive tube of roofing silicone. You can just use your regular bathtub kind, which is like six or seven dollars. I'll link to one of those below as well. Everything you need is below. It's of course affiliate links. If you buy from those, you'll be supporting our channel. Thank you. So let's get this tank flipped over and let's start drilling some holes in it. Real quick, I am using a two and a quarter inch hole saw. So as you can see, that's gonna work fine. And a little bit bigger and a little bit smaller would work as well. So fortunately you're gonna have to pick up a hole saw to do this job. So as you can see right here, because I did this on a curved part of the tank, you can see that it's not completely flush. So I'm definitely gonna use some butyl tape. We'll give this piece a little bit of flex. So let's install these. All right, so with our holes cut and I vacuumed out all those little pieces of metal, we don't wanna get those stuck in little toes. Now I think we're ready to fill this with water and I will start making my pump connections. So first we have our pump in it, inlet, which comes from this strainer. So this right here, and we'll pop one of these on. Yeah, we'll do it afterwards. We're gonna have to be careful not to roll that seal off. So that hose right there goes to the bottom. Now I believe we need our pump outlet to go to our saltwater pool inlet. So I do have a potential problem with this setup right here, and that's that this pump has this air inlet valve right here. This is the way that water escapes, sorry, that air escapes, so this is filled with water. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a problem here or not that I'm gonna have to figure out, but I'm hoping that I can let air out at the top of the pump right there, and that that will be okay, so we'll see. Now I've got power over at that shed, so I'm gonna start filling this with water and running power cables over there. All right, so we've got this pool all full. We've got our pump working correctly. The water's getting sucked in through the bottom and it's getting flown out of the top. I actually had the tubes reversed when I was doing it earlier, so I just swapped them. The top connection should go to the bottom and then the top over there, well, it goes through the saltwater pump for us, but should be on the bottom. And the air is being let out through here, so I think we're okay. I mean, the saltwater chlorinator, Water's flowing through it, but it's not working yet because I don't have salt, so I'm gonna go run and get some salt and then put some salt in it. All right, so I just got back with the salt. Everything has been working fine in the pool. Val put this little pool float up and Nova had a lot of fun playing in there and got really cold. Now she is sleeping. And I use this online pool calc this online saltwater pool calculator to figure out that I need about eight pounds of salt for this. Um, 250 to 300 gallons of water that's in there. That turns out to be 13 cups, so I'm gonna measure 13 cups. 
and sprinkle it in the pool. All right, so the deal is I'm gonna let that run for 24 hours. Once that salt has all been dissolved, the chlorinator will start turning the salt into chlorine, which is pretty amazing. So hang around for a couple more minutes and see that everything works. So a couple days later, the pool is all chlorinated. As you can see, it's nice and clean. Let me show you real quick how this works. So when you turn this on, it's going to say zero, zero. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the timer button and set it to run for one hour, which is going to be plenty for this size pool. After you do that, you're going to click boost, which is going to have it chlorinate for eight hours straight, which is sort of like how you set up the pool to start with. And then if you want to shock the pool because it's gotten a little bit dirty, or there's some algae growing in there for some reason, you can click boost to shock it and it'll run for another eight hours. Hopefully this will give us many years of fairly maintenance-free service and a nice clean pool. Nomi, you wanna get in there? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. How is it? It's good, right? What's it like? You gonna clean the pool? Yeah. You want this in here, Nova? You want to put it in there? Okay. You can do it cheaper without the salt water chlorinator. Just get chlorine tablets and a float. And you can get different sizes as well. You can get a six foot round stock tank, you can get an eight foot round stock tank. You can also get one that's only four feet long and you don't even really need to have a pump for that. It's such little water, you could fill it up whenever you want to use it and then let it drain out and go straight into the garden somewhere. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new here, we made a whole build series about how we turned this school bus into a tiny house. Check out the tour and the time lapse that's about to pop up if you haven't seen it already. Love you guys. Stay safe, stay free. Talk to you soon.